Welcome back to Against the Green Living. Um, exciting day. Start to haul some material up there. And load it up. Pups are playing in the background. But uh, yeah, I'm nervous about today. I was up all last night thinking of how I was going to. Most of the material is 16 feet. And that thing's only. I think eight feet without overhang because it's totaled 10 feet long but uh the tongue takes up uh, a bunch of it right so anyway we'll see what we can do well there's the pooches a few weeks later are they 12 weeks tomorrow something like that is that right hey get out here Moose tank, come on. Let's go. Anyway, they get a little extra time outside today. So there was 180, yeah, 180 beams in here. And I have 20 more up there under tarps. And then the rest of the stuff that's under tarps is two by material and one inch boards. Uh, the goal is to get all 200 beams up and some 2 by material for bracing so I can start building. But the one by material I'm going to further process here at the house. So I'm not sure how to get the long stuff up yet. So I'm starting with the short stuff. So there's 10 beams on there and some stickers. So I just had to cut two small out of scraps, uh, a bit of a standoff so that I can get a little wiggle room. So I just have the two straps going to the eyelets, and then that's a continuous loop strap just bundling it together. It's a warm day today, so I don't know how that's going to do with the uh, um, the trail. So we're going to get that loaded up on the truck and try to take another, oh, I don't know, if that was 10 minutes. It'd be nice to get 20 at least there to start today and just see how it goes whether i have to break it into four loads who knows but i got a couple short pieces in the back of the truck i'm gonna load up the scanic now probably have to red flag it we'll see if it's four feet back or not and then uh, get these strapped along the side 200 beams to get in there is uh no small feat and even if i did 20 a day what's that 10 days of trucking and it could be f four loads per day to get those in i don't know how it's gonna go so it's uh basically snow starts turning at the end of february It'd be a few bonus weekends in march if uh, conditions hold out but we'll see if we can get it all in there it's uh if not we're gonna have to come up with a new game plan when the snow disappears but I guess that's what this project's about. <laughs> Problem solving, troubleshooting. Anyway, uh, wish me luck. I'll probably film a little bit of this as uh, for the first load. And then after that, it's just going to be repeat. And I'll just get some highlights. But we'll see you up there. Well, this will be the only time that it's uh, set up like this. So we're too long to go on one load. But I figured with the short pieces, I won't have a ton of overhang. So I'm going to have to flag that. But my issue was I put that riser block at the bottom there, similar to that guy, uh, back here. And there, it's a flexible toboggan. So I had to pick it up with the tractor and put a couple boards. I'm going to have to strap it down good. But we'll get this up. I'm going to load the other beams along the side. And some in the back of the truck if they'll fit. And try to get 20 in today. Wish me luck. <laughs> Come on, Tank. Come on, guys. Come on. Still on the first load, we made it about seven of the eight kilometers in. The first six K is pretty smooth, and then the last kilometer that we cut is real rough. So, using my shortest, lightest load to judge how 
the weight and the length reacts to the trail that I had. And I've been stopping at, at, at every little obstacle that I didn't like for heavier, longer loads. Not necessarily heavier, but definitely longer. So I've been doing a lot of shoveling. We've been yeah, an hour and 15 minutes almost now. I knew I just had a sandwich, but. So depths and slopes don't come in through the camera very well, but <clears throat> I've taken all the snow from here and this side. This was probably, uh, I'm gonna say mid thigh deep, two and a half feet deep. Uh, and anything that's that quick of a trans transition for a long load, it's uh, no good. And then anything that's been off camber. So even uh, the spot where the Scandic is now, I mean, I stopped there, so I couldn't fill that one in this time, but uh, I'll probably try to square that up a little bit. The loads shouldn't be any taller than this ever in the future. Probably only ever gonna haul six or nine at a time. This one I got uh, 10 because a bunch of it's four by six, so I could get one row with four on it, but yeah. So I walked ahead and shoveled the three nasty spots there and then cross a little creek over that little knoll there and a ton more shoveling it's the side hill that i got stuck in flop the scandic last video so yeah once we get by that there's one more side hill i don't like and uh two more uh sharp dips so that'll fill in and uh, that's gonna be it for this load and probably shoveling for today i'll be back in tomorrow and do some more shoveling just trying to space it out but had to do the bulk of it this uh today because uh i didn't want to have any hiccups with today's loads so i just spent about 40 minutes on this hill alone so the whole hill was off camber like that and then there was probably four or five of the dips um so because of the weight i need uh momentum so I shoveled off the high side onto the low side all the way up this hill. Just using my little shovel that was left with the house. So because I've been using it regularly, I just uh, sit on it on the seat. So we've uh, got her fairly square. You don't really know because it's all sitting there loose until the weight goes over it but it's much better than it was. So there's a big, big divot right there that I scooped a ton out here. And then the, some off camber stuff. I still should fix this uh, low side right here a little bit more. And then where I got stuck yesterday, I uh, there was a divot here, a big hollow. So you can see how much had to shovel that out. So there's still a couple dips left, but we're gonna haul the load up the hill. It'll pack it down and you'll see where you need to add. We're getting there. Last last kilometer. It's uh, probably three or four more spots to shovel on the first trip in. And then I think I'm just gonna haul the second load in without shoveling because of the time of the day. There's one poplar down. And the other poplar got a mess to clean up but we can get in in here that's the first load in took three hours it was a lot of trail improvements with the shovel and snow it was worth it uh, so now there shouldn't be any more shoveling just uh run out and get another 10 beams and come back in so i have two the four skids are up here so in the trees here out of the way i'm gonna shovel some snow out to get the skids sitting flat and then I got those two rounds there to stack some stuff. Uh, so I'm going to try to segregate what I got. So it's mainly 6x6 six six and 4x6. Six. So two separate piles. And uh, we'll get the other load, get it done quick, and uh, get back home. And rinse, lather, and repeat tomorrow. Pile number one, 4x6s four and 6x6s. Six so we got my two standoff blocks strapped down, shovels back on the Scandic, and 
we started the stopwatch. We'll see what it takes to do uh, one load in and out with loading it up at the truck and uh, getting back in here without doing anything else. I've widened a couple corners while I was here too. I had a, an issue just up there. So hopefully we can make the swing with uh, the next load. Second load there, 10 more pieces up to 12 feet in length somewhat. Um, going forward when the material gets 16 feet long, it's probably just gonna be six, uh, six beams at a time. But going all right so far, but we haven't hit any of the big hills yet. Uh, it's been about 50 minutes since I uh, took off from where I'm dumping them. Yeah, so it's probably going to be like an hour and a half round trip. We'll see what it is. There's load number two. <clears throat> so we still got to unload it. We're at an hour and eight minutes. Uh, doesn't take that long. It's just 10 beams. Three straps, 10 beams. Throw it aside. I did bring a tarp, but I'm coming back in tomorrow, so I'm not even going to tarp it. Um... Yeah, so pretty conservatively, probably an hour and a half round trip. And if I plan on doing six big beams a load, four trips, I could do 24 a day. It'll be six hours at the property plus the drive back and forth. If I'm feeling good, maybe get 30 beams in. That's seven and a half hours up here and then the drives. And it's not easy work. But uh, yeah, at that rate, 200 was the total. We got 20 in. And uh, yeah, she's no small feat, but it's uh, working pretty good. I, I still have no idea how what I'm gonna do with another four feet out here. Um, still thinking of something for that. So we just loaded up uh, another 24, um, I think they're nine foot, a little over nine and a half feet, something like that. And we got the carry-on toboggan on top. We modified these a little because I had stuff uh, shimmying around. So we just put a bit of blocking that straddles the aluminum and some blocks so that the beams can't slide off the side. So that's all ready to go. Those are just those standoff ones to get them up off the snow. It's all strapped down. My work light worked mint. She's bright. And we got the scan deck up on the truck all ready to go. Just gotta throw the ramp underneath. And I'm all set for tomorrow. Go pack some lunch and uh, we're good to go. Day two of hauling, first load. That's uh, eight six by sixes, anywhere from nine and a half to 11 feet long. So I got three of those loads, 24 in total today. And uh, that's about my weight limit. I think I'd wanna haul up the hills. It still did just fine, but I wouldn't want any more. Skis get light, you can't steer, and I don't wanna go fast. And right now I can tow this without momentum. Um, I should lock out my rear articulating. It might keep my skis planted. Anyway, we made pretty good time coming in this morning. Um, we only shoveled a couple spots to improve it. And then I've dropped like five or six trees at some tighter corners, uh, three of them being up here. So the trail comes across here and then it's got a button hook along the shelf down. So I've been tidying up that. I'm gonna go shovel some snow up there. And there was one other corner that I took out three trees. Um, but yeah, we're going to get uh, these offloaded. I have the one tarp, and then I brought another little one. It won't cover the pile entirely, but it'll keep some of the snow off. And then I'm off uh, off snowmobiling again for four days. We're doing the wrap tour. It, it's a snowmobile trip uh, right around Algonquin Park. So we typically do it in three days, um, but we do a little bit of extra riding. So we got like a half day on the fourth day. Anyway, I was supposed to be all week at this, but the snowmobile season's not that long, so I'm going to add a second uh, trip to this riding season, and then I'll get back at hauling the material in. Well, this wraps up day two of log hauling. Uh, so, tally's 44 beams up here of the roughly 200. 
and uh, it's gone pretty smooth, but again, I've been hauling the shortest material in, so you won't see me any more of this until I figure out another setup for the 16 foot material, and then I'll give you an update on how I pulled that off. Anyway, I'll show you what we got today. So it was all six by six material. <laughs> I just had that little green tarp in the back of my truck. It's not big enough, but I'll do the trick. And then I dug up uh, some of the tools that I had here at this build site, the Hilltop Hollow build site. And I found them in the snow and I brought them up here just to some weight and so I knew where they were. And then that's a much bigger tarp, but I left it folded up. So four by six material. I uh, I think 12 feet in length is the longest. I might have a few that were at 16 feet, but uh, so that'll be 12 foot four by sixes. This is all gonna be uh, nine, 10 foot uh, six by sixes. And then I just stomp this down, they'll run that way. And that's gonna be all the 16 foot six by sixes and probably the two, um, the two six by 10 ridge beams. I'll sit in there and then I have a small pile of two by fours. I gotta find a spot for. I really gotta keep this open. I don't wanna move material twice, but two by fours are easy to handle. So I might find a, a ledge and shovel some snow and uh, put the two by fours up there. But uh, the 31 floor beams, those eight by eights, I gotta find a spot for those that are close. They're the heaviest. I might be able to just keep them over there out of the footprint, but uh, we'll see. And then I would like to get some one inch boards and longer two inch boards in here just for uh, bracing and stuff. But yeah, so we, uh, there was a bunch of dead fault in that crotch. There's still a couple little branches. So I managed to lasso them and get those out of that tree. And then, uh, I'll have to thin out some of the stuff in here, some of it's dead standing, and prune up some of those trees, get rid of what's gonna cause a risk to the cabin in the future. Dropping those two poplars, I damaged uh, a few of them, so anything that got damaged, I'm just gonna get out of the way now before there's a structure. And uh, yeah, then I got a plan a little workshop down there using those existing footings so i just made my way through the rows of the footings and right against the rock face here is where the tools were so you can see my snowmobile tracks but yeah she's quite the quite the ledge without dropping the phone i don't know if you can so there's my pile of brush from clearing this site but i should get the uh, I wonder my rangefinder or something. I don't have a laser, um, laser lengths or measuring tape or whatever. See how high this little ledge is. My watch altitude is not accurate enough for that, but. So yeah, it's been working pretty good. I'm gonna take the Scandic on that wrap tour I was telling you about. So I gotta get it home, get it washed up a little bit and uh, I'm going to take off that chainsaw holder and change out some of the accessories to uh, better suit the four-day saddlebagging trip. So we, I wanted to get to take this one. Nice big windshield, lots of storage, and uh, I need to get it broke in before I do heavy, heavy hauling. So, yeah. Wish me luck. So it's 16.5 kilometers round trip to... Uh, make it back to the truck in here type of deal. So it's like eight and a bit each way. And uh, it took me about an hour and 15 minutes to do the last two loads, just each load. Um, the first load I was doing a bunch of trail maintenance and improvements and shoveling. So not too bad. Still, it's a, it's a full day. That little single axle trailer I have um, can only handle so much weight as well as the Scandic. So I don't think I'll do any more than uh, 24 beams in a day, but uh, do that another, I don't know, probably 
probably nine more full days like that to get all the material that I want here by the end of winter. And if snow conditions allow, I'll uh, keep hauling and try to get as much of it here as possible. But we're already, what is it, uh, February 8th and stuff turns for the worst pretty quick here in March. So um, I do have a pretty good base and a snowpack. So even if I have to drive the truck like another four kilometers closer, if the, um, the OFSC trail uh, melts fast like it did last year, then uh, I might still squeak another couple light loads in uh, with the Scandic on the snowpack. Anyway, having fun doing it. Beats being at work. Uh, using my vacation days up for this, but I enjoy this stuff, so worth it. So thanks again for watching Against the Grain Living. Um, stay tuned. This hilltop hollow uh, build site's going to keep progressing. Uh, this year's probably a big year. I doubt it'll be completely done by next snowfall because I, unless I find a way to get uh, a lot more building materials in in the summertime, I'm going to use up everything that I get hauled in this winter and then I'll probably be at a standstill until next winter. But um, we'll get everything in here and we'll get this thing built over the next couple of years. And it should be, uh, should be a fun project. Take care.